Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Monday, it's May 18th. This will be our chart lesson for the day. And real quick, most of you probably remember that I had my eye appointment today. I did not have my surgery today. They just did all the measurements and all the tests and everything they have to do. And I don't go back until June 2nd to have my actual surgery. It looks like so. Um, looks like I'm gonna be blind for. A little bit longer here in this eye but I can put my contacts back in now so that helps a little bit so I'll be able to put my contact back in that eye and hopefully I'll be able to see a little bit better for the next couple of weeks till I have that surgery so uh, they did I, they did dilate my eyes today so I'm having a hard time seeing still plus um, I do not have my contact and so I'm struggling a little bit, so this will probably be short and sweet today. I'm just going to go over the trades. I did want to talk about one other issue that I wanted to show you. I want to talk about these little small congestion areas. There's a bunch of them today. Right here, and right here, 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 and then, of course, all across here. And one thing you got to notice is when you start to see prices continue to go up and up and up, like that and there's lots of little small bars with dojis and stuff that's still a strong trend so you can take these trades however when it gets sideways like that when the bars are stacking up that's when you got to be really careful so i had at least four five six emails i think it's this spot right here i believe this is where everybody got tripped up i'm not sure it was either there it might have been this one right here, actually. But somewhere right in here, everybody got tripped up. And uh, somebody actually sent me their chart here. And I believe this is... This one's actually a little different. I actually showed this one the other day. Okay, now we can see my mouse. So I'm not sure if you guys could see it. And once the video is done, it's too late. So I'm just going to make sure you can see this. Notice how there's one, two, three bars stacked up there. Four ends up five. But notice you really started over here. So this is just a little range. You had a little failed break out the low side, a failed break out the high side. Then you got back in here. Then you finally broke out and went higher. So several people got tripped up right here on this particular one. And there's, first of all, if you just see the range, you know you can't go long right into that. You're, you got to switch to range rules when you see these little ranges. But even if you didn't see this working across here and you just started over still, when you see three or more bars stacked up and at least one of them doesn't have a body. See how that has no body? It's got one, maybe one or two little ticks of body. When you see one of those with two others stacked up side by side, that's usually congestion. Just ignore those. Don't enter in them because what will happen is it'll... it'll this thing went higher, probably trapped out all the shorts. Then it went down, probably trapped out all the longs that got long right there. And then it turns and goes right where you think it does. But there's another way to look at this. This is really a double top. Notice how that all looks like one move down through there. Maybe there's a little correction there, but notice that's not really, it doesn't really look like a leg right there. And that's the, the whole idea behind second entries is that there are two legs of correction. So that doesn't look like a leg of correction. It's just, it's still a move up, but notice how everything's still bearish. You get a little bit of attempt at something right there, but then you go sideways. And so just assume this is a first entry really. And so that's just a first entry long, plus you got the congestion, plus the range. There's just a lot of different reasons. You don't really have a trend line there. You might have support, but he, you know he's got this trend line drawn here. Well, that's just the first time price has touched it, so that doesn't mean anything. So anyway, when you see congestion like that, and we saw a lot of that today, and I got three or four or five emails about one spot, and I'm going to try to find that. I'm going to pause the video after this and try to find that. But there's one spot similar to this where everybody got tripped up. And uh, and if you just follow this rule of seeing three or more bars and one of them doesn't have a body or has a very little body like that little bitty green body, 
just skip that. You might miss a good trade occasionally, but you'll save yourself from this kind of little headache right here getting chopped up. Just as an example, look what happened right here. You're working back, you get a first entry, you get a second entry. Well, that probably worked, but it turned down pretty quickly. And then notice what happens. You get a first entry, you get a second entry, and this one would have failed on you. Of course, there's no good signal bar, and it goes higher. And so you just get chopped up in that stuff. And you'll see some more over here. Notice there's a first entry and then a second entry and it turns up. And then there's uh, another first entry, second entry, and it turns back up. And then there's a first entry and a second entry. And, of course, this one would have worked. But you just get chopped all to pieces. So when you start going sideways like that, forget about second entries. And when you see three or more bars stacking up and one of them doesn't have a body, it's just mostly stem. And see, that would be one right there. That would be one with no body. I'm not saying, and, and those are not really stacked up. They're kind of working lower, really, to be honest. But but here, here you go. Here's a good example. Look how there's one, two, three. And that one doesn't have much of a body. And then this one doesn't either. And they tried to go higher. And if you tried to go higher on a second entry right there, of course, you're way too far away from the EMA. But just stay out of those, and you'll be better off. Here's another good example. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars going sideways there, and you got a bunch with no bodies. And you end up getting a little second entry long. Well, that's not really a second entry because that's not a new high. But it looks like kind of like a second entry. I could see somebody trading it as a failed second entry short and then getting trapped. But anyway, I hope that's clear. Okay, and here's today's chart, and you can see a lot of that. Even though right here, when we start going up, that's a strong trend. It doesn't look like it, but when you see lots of little bitty bars that are going, just keep going higher and higher and higher, and the little corrections are very shallow, that's a strong trend. And you could see those to the downside as well. And then we started doing it again right here. And there, there's a little two-tiered channel working sideways here that you can see and all that really is is a correction back from the high to the low but notice we had the break of the main two-tier channel and new high then we had the correction which just kind of set this two-tier channel and we traded up into that until very late in the afternoon and then kind of sold off so this was a strong trend this market just keeps going higher there's no end to it i guess it seems like but uh, let me back out. We'll talk about, you can see the big picture there. Let me back out. And there's actually a little two-tiered brown channel working up in there. I just changed the color to kind of keep from confusing it. But notice, too, if you measure this first leg during the overnight, notice that two-legged correction. That's probably going to be the center of your pattern. And we had almost a perfect measured move. And then we corrected for a while and got the break. And then we went a little higher. And then I would have measured this leg. Notice we didn't get anywhere close to that when we ran out of time, really, and then kind of sold off. But that's what I would have been looking for. And then from there, I would have also measured this leg. And then when we started higher, just measure that leg right there. You can see we pretty much got a perfect measured move on that one. So, but let me back out. We'll go through the trades real quick, and I'm going to wrap it up. I'm not going to take too long on these today. Just get that out of the way. We know what that was. But notice how we spiked up here and went into a little channel. Then we overshot it. And we overshot the big channel, too, which probably leads to a break, which it does. And... But you still got this little spike and channel. That's your first break, and you get a first entry and then a second entry. That's a little aggressive, but there is some support right across there. We tested it once, twice, three, four, five, six times on a second entry long. You may take that trade. Nice bullish bar. You're expecting a, maybe a retest of this little high because, I mean, that's a big, strong move. Um, you're just kind of out here in no man's land, but you are playing this trend line right here so it's a little it's a little aggressive but you may take it and then by that time we're just working sideways here and you can see that notice how we got 
one, two, three, four bars there and how it breaks and, and just kind of drops down here. But you made that low, you test it once, you test it twice, and you get this little small bullish bar down here at the very low of all that support on a range. You're probably going to the other side and off it goes. It actually pushes on through. Actually, it finds resistance a little lower at first. And you can see that. And you get a little failed breakout right there. But it's not a very good signal bar. There's You got the green one and then the red one with stems on both sides. It's just an inside bar. I'd skip that. It would have worked. And it is a second entry short. But I'm not crazy about it. I mean, you might mark it green. But because it's an inside bar and it's got a little bit of stem on the bottom, it's just not a great setup. And... And then we bounce. You can't go long right here, right into that resistance. It runs up, and then we're just kind of working sideways again. And like I said, just forget about second entries and stuff. There's a pullback first entry, second entry, but that's a very bearish bar. And then somebody sent me their thing. They took this long here. I got two matching highs. I think theirs broke higher and turned down and went out the other side. Um, you could call that a double test. And so if you had enough room to get out before you got back to the EMA and this did break higher, you may take that. I'm not going to mark it. I think it's too... Somebody else sent me their trades today and they, they had a really bad day. But when I looked at their chart, all the way up, they're trying to sell. And then they finally, at the very top, they decided to buy and the market turned down on them. So don't counter trend trade. As long as this channel's in play, and as big as strong as this channel is, I mean, look at that channel. As strong as that is, you're going to get a retest of the high. So until you get a break and a retest of the high, or you get a confirmed channel working in the other way, like that right there or something, stay with the trend. Don't try to pick tops. It's a losing strategy. But anyway, you do get a lower high here. Uh, I marked this one. It's a little close to that low right there. But you can see we were making higher, high, higher lows here each time. And we're in this upper half as long as, and now we've come down below the midline and below the EMA. So this would be the support I'd be concerned about or, or resistance trading into that. And you got enough room there and see it did find a little support. And then it ticks up again right there and turns back down. I like going short right there on a failed second entry long. Plus that's a, now you got a little key entry point right there. And you're just looking for prices to come back to this trend line, really. And sure enough, that's where they come back. And I marked this one. That's such a huge bar. It did break lower and turn and go back. And look how far we are away from the EMA. If that breaks out that high side right there, it's probably going back at least to the EMA. We may go ahead and retest the high. So plus you got all the support here. Notice how many times price has bounced across here. So you got a lot of support across there. So that's going to trap a lot of people down here. And it it didn't it, it takes off pretty quickly right there. So I think most everybody that got short down here must have exited early because it just didn't rock it off like you would think it would. It does keep moving higher. Generally, you would expect it to turn really quickly and and make several bars in a row but a lot of people are probably still long and playing this and just hadn't exited yet but but you can see how it ticked one tick lower i guess that's one tick that might be two and then turns and it just goes and that's a huge bar i mean that's an 18 tick bar so that's that's over four points that's a huge bar so you got to be careful with that one. And then we just start going sideways again. And there's no, the only way you can get in is a nice bullish bar along these lows. And I wouldn't short this still because we're in an uptrend. So it's probably going to fail out the bottom. And finally, you get a little failed break lower here with a nice bullish bar. So you get a chance to get in. It doesn't get much more than a scalp, though. And it comes back. And... And, it, and then we're still kind of going sideways there. 
I mark this one as green because it's a higher low and it's a relatively bullish bar back inside this range. So you're probably going to at least go to here and you got plenty of room. So you may take that one. It's not a very good setup though, because again, you're just kind of working sideways. And then, then we start going sideways here and you never really get a long, but you get this little breakout here on a short way away from the EMA, plenty of room back to here. So you may take that one again. It's aggressive because the bias is up, but there are two legs up there. So you're probably going to get a correction, at least back to the EMA. And you can see that's pretty much a measured move with a failed break. It's just basically you're trading the breakout of failed breakout of the, that range. And it comes back to the EMA and then bounces. And it's a shame that you don't really get a good up uh, setup to go higher here. And there's that. Look at that. Don't enter in that. Even though it breaks and goes, the odds are it's probably going to break and go this way because we traded up into it. But a lot of times it will break out and fail and then break out this side and you, you just can't trade it consistently and there is a second entry notice that high first entry second entry but that don't trade that forget about second entries in that and now it runs up you get a pullback first entry and a pullback you get a second entry right there with a nice bullish bar at that key entry point back above well really you probably wouldn't have the cma here you would have this trend line but you wouldn't really know this midline's any good yet. So you could forget that one. You're just really playing the midline of the little two-tiered brown channel. And you could find that off of there. And then if you drag it up here, it fits. And then if you just put that in the very center, it fits well too. And that pretty much kind of confirms it. So you may go along there. It's just a little ways away from the EMA. And this is a midline and usually they're less reliable unless they've been tested a few times so I'll mark that one green you finally do come back to the trend line here and confirm it but you don't on my chart you don't get a setup if that was a real bullish green bar back to the EMA I'd probably take that trade so if you had a little different setup there you might have had a good chance but it's a shame that I got this whole move up here and I don't really other than that trade right there I don't really get a chance to enter it then we finally get the break and of course you're just chopping sideways here and I think this is where everybody got tripped up because you're coming down first entry no uh, I'm not sure if this is where it was maybe it was right here I don't know I don't this might have been it right here anyway just be careful in that stuff and now you get a failed breakout and a chance to go back with the trend and here you because you're you just come off the high of the range we're not back to the or the high of the channel uh, i get to talking about all these ranges and channels and i'll say the wrong word but we're talking about the trend channel we just came off the high so we're looking for prices to at least come back to the midline and we're not there yet but because it's this little failed breakout, you're probably going to at least come back to the EMA, maybe back to the high here. And we still have this channel. That's that's a really strong brown channel. So we're probably going to try to retest the high. So you might catch a nice move here. It's still is several points, but it's not, you know, you don't catch it all the way, a one that keeps running. But then it turns back down. Um, I don't think you want to be taking a short here, but then we start working across here. Now you got that trend line and we come back and confirm it, but better than that, you're going sideways and look how many times prices turn down there and you break out and look how it fails. That's a great setup right there. And you get two more legs down and then you fell out the bottom, but you don't really get a setup. You're going sideways again, and then you fell out, and you get a lower high right here, but you don't want to go short right into here. And guess what? It bounces right there, which is the main trend line, and you could treat this again like a failed break out of that support. And there's actually a second entry long there, which you'd consider that, you know, that just gives it a little more because you got your two legs down. 
And so you got the trend channel line and the trend line both right there giving it extra confluence and you're way away from the EMA so it's probably going to snap back. So that's a pretty good trade. I like that one and that gets you in this one early. There's a higher low here. You don't want to go long right there because this trend line is still in play really. This range is still in play. And notice what happens. It breaks out, pulls back and tests it and then goes high. But I don't like entering right there because you didn't quite get back to the EMA. There is this trend line and it does confirm it, but you're also right back into some resistance over here. It's just not a great place to be going long. And notice the two, you got one, two, three, four bars stacked up there. Uh, and they don't have any body, so that's another good reason to, to ditch that one. Then you come back, you get a first entry and you get a second entry right here. Nice bullish bar. You, that was the previous resistance. Now it's acting to support. I like going long right there. <clears throat> Plus you're looking for a retest of this high on this channel right here. That's your first break. And you actually come back and get another second entry right here. But now look what's happened. At this point you would have had this way down here. And you just don't really have a room right there. I don't think you could have scalped out of that. That looks like a tick one. No, you, it's just too risky right there. Once you're back in this, now that you're, you know, it's a channel and you're going sideways, just stay out of it. Unless you get a little, unless you get it entered long down here or short up here on a breakout or something. And you don't really get any setup. Actually you broke higher here and turned back down. If you had a nice, a lot of room, you might take that one. Because at this point, you might have even moved this up right here. So that's one you might take. I'll mark it green. But the problem is, you couldn't enter down here. You'd have to enter when it turned up and then went back down. You could enter one tick below that. But the key is, do you have enough room to get out before that EMA? If you do, then take it. Looks like there's enough room there. You get a failed break out here, but not a very good signal bar. This one I went back and forth with, but by this time, you probably would have had this on up here. Maybe even all the way up to here. But definitely right along here somewhere. Because notice how your, your resistance has moved up. And so you're coming back first entry, second entry, and it is a higher low off the low, and there's a little bit of room there to scalp out. Although that could fail right there. Um, but that was just right going into 2 o'clock. So uh, that's another reason to maybe skip that one. But that's a notice how that high, everything right there closed above the EMA. And this thing had been trading way down here and closed up. That's a pretty good sign that you're probably going to at least come back up and test the highs. So, but that got you into two o'clock. So it really is an uptrend all day, except for this crazy sideways stuff. And of course you did have a correction right here too. But really this is a, even though that's trending down, it's more of a range type deal. And you could kind of trade that both ways, even though the bias is still up, but but what you want to recognize is there's a two-tier channel. We just came off the high and we're going back to the trend line. But the fact that it's just almost going sideways to get there tells you this market's still pretty strong. It's not really pulling straight back like, like it did here to the trend line. It's just kind of working sideways to it, just like it did right here. That's a pretty strong market. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Still got 25 minutes worth, so I'm going to wrap this up, get out of here. We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll be a little bit more back to normal tomorrow, and I can put my contact back in my right eye and see a little better. So, But I'm going to wrap it up for today. Hope you had a good trading day. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.